Rich Sidoli. Today we're going to make a stuffed zucchini. Beautiful. Beautiful stuffed zucchini. I stopped by a, by a farmer's market. The farmer had, had stuffing zucchini. I said right away I grabbed one. I haven't done it for years. The last time I did it, I grew my own zucchini. Okay, so let's get cooking now. First thing we're going to do, do is, is cut up a eggplant. Now, this is what we're doing today is a vegetarian stuffing. There's no rice, no pasta, no meat, just vegetables in here. And we're going to dice up an eggplant. And the reason we're dicing up the eggplant first is because the eggplant takes long to cook. It is takes and look at the way it sizzles. It's beautiful. There we go, looking good, looking good. Little salt. Now the eggplant likes the eggplant likes a lot of oil, so it may use all the oil that's in there. So no big deal. We just add some more. Again, we mix. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, now we got to put an onion in there. Medium-sized onion. And we're going to cube it. First I cut it against the grain. And then I cut it the grain. Most people do it the other way around. Okay. Balsa. That's okay. First things first. Should have a paring knife. I don't have a paring knife handy. But my grandfather's knife. I love using my grandfather's knife. Especially this one. He brought it from Italy when he came here. Alright, so we're cutting around the edge. About an eighth of an inch in. Mix, mix, mix. Beautiful. Now we're going to take a spoon to, to wriggle, wriggle it around and loosen it up. Now, Let's see how we do. Okay. Okay. See? Okay, now the eggplant is going to go in here. This Not the it. eggplant, the zucchini. What's wrong with you? What's the matter? I got a butter on the side of the bread, of the bed. No. Okay? A little more salt and pepper for the, for the zucchini. Salt and pepper for the zucchini. Basta, basta. So, now we gotta mix it. Now we gotta mix it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let's be honest. That's not another zucchini. Zucchini, but look at what I got here. We already cut them up. So we're going to put that in too. Okay. Beautiful. And again, mix, 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 mix. Let it all cook. Quarter cup, that's a little less. Quarter cup. And a tiny bit more. Quarter cup of breadcrumbs, plain breadcrumbs. Third of a cup pignoli nuts. A few, few extra won't hurt. Okay, it's time for the scallions. So we're just going to slice them into little circles, nice and easy. Okay, and we just got two two scallions here. You can use the whole scallion. That's what Mama did. We got breadcrumbs and pignoli in here. Now we got to put dried mushrooms in here. We're going to take them out, squeeze them. You don't need much mushroom. 
Tap, chop, chop. So if these are the dry mushrooms for a mint leaf that you reconstituted. Yeah, I reconstituted dried mushrooms for a mint leaf. Okay, dried mushrooms. Parmigiano. It calls for a quarter cup of Parmigiano. And we go quarter cup. Quarter cup. I got this. I got this. I got, oh, come on. Give me a break. Quarter cup of Parmigiano. Look at that. A little more Parmigiano won't hurt anybody. Come on. Now my cousins in Italy feel good. All right, because they make the stuff. Pepper. A little salt. Okay. The vegetables are cooked. Over there. Okay. Mush, this masala wine, I strain it. And you see, here's some mushrooms. And they're too hot to really put in there. Let's mix this all up. Okay. Now we're going to add a little more parmigiano. That's enough. And a little more breadcrumbs to soak it all up. Whoops. And that should do it. I hope. But all the flavors are in there. We serve this last Sunday or two Sundays. Everybody took seconds. Everybody took seconds. them up nice, top them with grated cheese, beautiful, and then we had some left over, so we put it in a ramekin, put it down here in the middle, nice, 